fellow diamond painting addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne, and I'm excited to be here with you today because I get to do two Bella Art Diamond sneak peeks for you. Bella Art recently received their latest round of new releases, and so you're going to be seeing sneak peeks all over YouTube for them, and I encourage you to go check them out. One, I really like Bella Art Diamonds. You guys may have seen my finish of the Harajuku kit that I bought from them. It was a square kit. The square drills were amazing. It turned out really well, so well that I ended up framing it and my daughter snagged it. So really good quality, lots of the extras and things that you expect from a premium diamond painting company. All their art is licensed. It comes in this lovely box. It's got their little branding here. And then on the back of the box, is where their instructions are. In addition to checking out what amazing new pieces of art they have coming out, you might also want to watch all of the sneak peek videos because Bella Art is doing a giveaway. They are asking each of the people who are doing sneak peek videos to come up with a keyword. So you watch the video and you come up with the keywords for each video. And then at the end of this round of sneak peeks, they will have a form and they're going to be doing a giveaway for a kit. If you have all of the correct keywords, you enter, I believe you're going to enter it into a Google form and then they'll pick a winner from people who filled it all out correctly. The drawing they have said will be held during their live on March 9th, which will be at 1.30 Mountain Time. If you're not on Mountain Time, you'll need to figure out what that difference is. So 34 new kits, and they have said these are all going to be available on March 2nd at 5 p.m. Again, that's mountain time, so if you're not on mountain time, you may need to do some conversions for yourself. But March 2nd at 5 p.m. mountain time will be when these are listed on the website and available. So I will stick a link to Bella Art Diamonds down below. I can't link to these actual kits because they have not been listed yet, or at least not to the public, so there's nothing for me to link individual kits. But go check out their website. They've still got paintings left from their last round of new releases and there were some really cool ones in there including the Harajuku one. So I've got two to get to. One's a little bit smaller. I'm going to start with that one and then we'll open the big one. So let me get everything out of the box and I'll be right back. So I've got everything out of the box. Now they do put on their boxes a sticker on the end that shows what the kit is but I like to be surprised or I guess at least surprise you guys. I've looked at the sticker, so I know what I have to say, but okay. So each of their kits comes with their, what they call essentials tray, which they add in once the, the kits get to them. That's why it's kind of just out floating. And then we have our lovely soft link canvas. It has the scalloped edges. It is poured glue. Let me get it unrolled and we'll see what's inside. So we've got our kit, I'm gonna let it relax. We've got our drills, we've got our toolkit, and we've got our stickers. So let's look in our toolkit first. It's a pretty standard toolkit, but they do have a little, a few little extras. So we get here some very nice and sharp tweezers. We get three plates of blue wax in the lovely little like jewelry container. I don't know why these always come undone, but it seems like every time I get them, no matter who it's from, they're undone. All right, and then we get our pin with a three placer attached and then a, an extra six and nine placer. We get a scrunchie and we get some very cute little washi tape with deer on it. I'm gonna go ahead and stick the tray in here because that way it's not just floating around. So that's the tool kit. Then we have our drills, but let's look at our stickers first and see what our kit looks like. So our kit is called Aquarius Teacup from Hey Soleil Art. And there's a whole series of these with different zodiac signs. You can see here the little tag on the tea bag has the Aquarius symbol. There's like some water waves since Aquarius is the water, a water symbol. I'm an Aquarius. I saw this one and I thought, oh, that'd be really cute. Now this one isn't huge. It's only 50 by 53. It is a square drill. We've got 46 colors, which isn't a huge amount, and we've got five ABs in this one. So that's pretty awesome as well. And I'm just noticing there's no 310 in this one. So it looks like it's all gonna be dark blues and everything in the background. All right, so our 46 colors, including our five ABs, 
let me grab the canvas and we'll measure and look at everything else. So this canvas is a little too big for me to fit everything on the screen. I will, as always, take some B-roll so that I can play that while I'm talking. I will have to do the same thing with the larger kit because it's not going to fit either. Unless it's landscape, I don't know, maybe it is. Okay, so you've got all of your socials, their logo and everything, or not socials, their websites and logo and everything up here. If you're going to post anything on social media, their hashtag is Bella Art Diamonds. They have a schematic on both sides, and as you can see, one of them is upside down. So if you're someone like me who rotates your canvas, that's always nice to have. It has a nice thick cover sheet. It's poured glue, so it's gonna be nice and sticky. It looks like all the symbols are gonna be nice and clear. I like all the yellow flowers here. All right, let's measure this. It says 50 by 53. So let's see what it measures. So let me get this flat across. So not quite 50, it's 49, a little over 49 and a half. It's a couple millimeters short of 50. And if I measure this way, well, let me turn it because it's hanging off the edge of my desk a bit. If I measure it this way, it is 52 and a half. So 50 by 53 and I'm getting 49 and a half by 52 and a half, so pretty close. I always love how when they do centimeters, <laughs> you can see here on the bottom, when they do the centimeters, it's whole numbers, but then here they've got decimals for the inches. So it's probably much more accurate in inches. So let's look at the drills and let's see what the drills look like. I can already tell there's gonna be ABs here in the water. The, the Aquarius symbol itself is ABs. Oh, this is like a little drop of water, the little bubbles. That is some ABs there. That's the white AB. Let's look at the drills. I'm gonna save the AB drills for last, but let's look at everything else. Okay, so here's the drills. Now, I've been watching other people doing their sneak peeks, and there's a bunch of people who don't get anything but the ABs out of the case. Is that something you guys enjoy or not? Let me know in the comments. I mean, I like to look at all the colors, but if I, if you feel like I'm wasting time doing that, then I certainly don't need to do it anymore. All right, so we've got a very dark purple here. I'm gonna try and keep them in order as I can. A very light mint blue, a dark purple, a purple, a very light lavender, a very dark mauve, kind of a purpley blue, another lavender, a light blue, and then we've got a dark purple, a kind of bright pink, a bright green, like a mulberry color, another light blue, a very light blue, that's almost gray, a dark blue, a bright blue, another light blue, a baby blue, some peach, and then I've got kind of a bright blue, a bright dark blue, and then I've got two bags of very dark blue, the 823, which I'm gonna assume is probably some of the background colors. Yes, the background up here and over here is this very dark blue. Then what have we got? We've got a bunch of greens. So there's a dark green, a spring green, a green, a little bit darker green, and then I've got, woo, three bags of 939, which is the other symbol. So up here is kind of the 823, and then down here at the bottom, around the rest of the teacup is where all the 923 goes. Still better than black. <laughs> all right, then we've got a green, a very dark green, a blue, kind of a magenta color, a pink, a baby pink, another purple, and then we have a very, very pale blue. That's like a, it's like a mint green color almost. It's so pale. Another kind of cornflower blue, a dark pink, kind of a lime yellow, a dark purple, a light blue, and a turquoise. So those are all the regular colors. Let me get these back in the bag and then we'll look at the ABs and where they go on the canvas. So here are our ABs. We've got 
our white AB, which I've already talked about, which is kind of the highlights, the waves, the Aquarius symbol, all of that. Then we've got two big bags of this kind of bright yellow AB, and that is going to be all of these yellow flowers. Wow, those are all going to be ABs. That'll be very super sparkly and pretty. Then we've got this kind of lighter yellow AB, and it is kind of in the middle of some of these flowers. This kind of orangey AB is going to be in the middle of some of these flowers as well. And then we've got a very, very pale yellow AB, which I'm gonna guess is also going in the middle of these flowers, yes. So just some in here and there where all the flowers are. So the flowers and kind of the middle of parts of the flowers will all be those ABs. I might get out some and throw in maybe some of these darker blue colors here, or maybe some of these kind of purpley pinks. I might get out some extra ABs when I get around to this one. All right, don't go anywhere. Let's look at the second kit. All right, now to open the bigger one. Let me get everything out of the box and we'll look and see what this one is. So same thing here. We've got our toolkit, our essentials tray, our drills, and our sticker. So let's look and see what's in our toolkit. It's probably the exact same thing, but I like to look at the washi tape. So let me open that. So again, we get our diamond painting pen, this time with the nine placer attached and then the three and six stuck in there. I always wonder how they decide what gets attached, what doesn't. Another scrunchie. There's a current hot debate over whether or not this is called a scrunchie or a squishy. People have told me that ha their hair scrunchies, this is a squishy. I'm gonna continue to call it a scrunchie because it looks scrunched. But let me know in the comments below, what do you call it? All right. Then we get our super pokey tweezers again. We've got our three plates of wax, although this one did not come undone, so that's good. And then we get, oh, some cute little like heart leaf candy cane washi tape. That's cute. All right, let me get all this back in the bag. And of course we have our drills. Oof, I'm assuming this one is a bit bigger. That's a lot of drills. Let me set those aside. Let me set those aside and we'll look at our stickers. So here you go, guys. This one is so cute. I can't wait to work on this one. This one is called The Little Witch's Sunrise from Gully Draws. I think I'm partial to kits like this because they remind me of my daughter's art, which of course I love. So anyway, it's just this cute little witch looking out this kind of, there's like little stained glass on the edges of the window here, but it's like got all this woodwork stuff in here, some trees on the edge and then you can kind of see the trees outside in the reflection of the window but she's got her little hat with the moon and her little like pinafore dress on so this one is a little bit bigger not huge but still a little bit bigger it's 60 by 60 centimeters so we'll measure that this one is also a square drill we've got ooh 72 colors and again we've got five ab's 72 colors though that's quite a bit I saw somebody else talking and they were looking at the symbols. Also, I didn't know that was something people did. I mean, I assume you'll, if you buy the kit, you'll look at the symbols. But anyway, she was talking about these two little wavy lines, which I just call wavy lines, but she said she calls them bacon because it looks like a piece of bacon. And now I can't see anything else. Like I said, this one is 60 by 60. Let me grab the canvas and we'll measure and see what it looks like up close. So again, this one is gonna be a little bit too big for me to get everything in the shot from the table, but I will take some B-roll and add that in so while I'm talking, you guys can be seeing some close-ups of the canvas itself. So same soft link canvas, poured glue, scalloped around the edges. We've got our schematic on both sides, one of them flipped, so if you turn your canvas, their website, their logo, the hashtag they want you to use, and then at the bottom, I didn't point this out, but on the bottom, they've got their Bella Art Dana Cole website, which is where they sell their trays and everything. They've got the thumbnail and information about the kit itself. And then they've got on this end, all of their socials. So this is listed as a 60 by 60. So let's measure. It is, I'm getting 59 and a half. So I'm gonna assume it's 59 and a half the other way as well. But if I measure inches, 23.62. Hmm, nope, I'm getting a little shorter than 23 and a half. So slightly off, but it's all good. I was actually I was actually excited to see this one because it's the same size as the Harajuku that I did. And when I bought the frame for Harajuku, it was actually 
cost effective to buy two frames instead of one because I knew I had another 60 by 60. I'm thinking I might do this one sooner than the other one, but it's 60 by 60 as well. So win-win for me. And she's just so cute. I love her cute little face with her glasses and her big hat and everything. All right, so we measured it. Looking at the symbols, we've got five ABs, like I said, so I'll pull the ABs out. This one may be a little bit tricky for me though because I'm gonna be really hyper-focused on making sure I get these window drills straight because they kind of go the whole length of the canvas. That'll be interesting. Maybe I'll drag out one of my rulers to help me place, we'll see. Okay, let me grab the drills and we'll look at those. Okay, I think it's been a while since I had a kit that had this many drills in it. At least that wasn't, like I seem to go to extremes. Either I don't have very many or I have huge amounts. So this just seemed like a lot for some reason, but all right, let's look at these. So what have we got? We've got kind of a salmon color. We've got a very dark purple. We've got a purple. We've got kind of a dark blue, cornflower blue like a lilac, and then we've got like a kind of reddish brown and a butterscotch. Oh, we've got 310 in this one, but not very much, just one bag. So that's not a ton of 310. Then we've got like a dark blush pink. We've got a light gray. We've got a dark green, a dark purple, a light purple, kind of a peachy salmon a very light green, a dark gray, then we've got some green, some kind of sage green, and then some light green, and we've got another kind of dark brown. Then we have a dark blue, a dark purple, it's kind of a dull green, another green, kind of a khaki olive color, kind of a dark peach, a brown, then we've got another slightly darker butterscotch, a dark blue, like a royal blue, a navy blue, then we've got another brown, a yellow, a dark brown, and then a couple more shades of brown. Because of the window shade and all of the trees and everything, there's gonna be lots of brown in this one. All right, then we've got like a brick red, kind of a burnt orange, a dark slate blue, a very dark gray, a dark green, and then we've got some more dark brown, and then we've got another dark blue, a peach, a butterscotch, another kind of olive green, a mauve, a dark green, a very dark brown, 3371, kind of a brick red, kind of a reddish mauve, and then we've got kind of a purple dark mauve, a light blue, a blue, kind of a bluish gray, another kind of salmon, kind of a khaki brown, a dark gray, a dark mulberry, a dark blue, and we've got kind of a turquoise green, another butterscotch, a dark purple, another dark blue, and then we've got two shades of kind of reddish brown, one very dark and one a little bit lighter. So there's all of the regular colors of drills. Let me get these put away and then we'll look at the ABs and where they go on the canvas. All right, so here are our ABs. We've got a big bag of one. The rest of them, there's not very many. So we've got this very light purple AB that is going to go in her hair right here. She's got purple hair. We've got this, again, kind of orangey AB. This looks pretty much like the one we saw in the last kit. And that is going to go here in the moon and down here on her dress. And then our big bag of green AB is going to go kind of all along this side down here where you can see the tree outside the window. So that'll be nice and pretty. And I think I've got some other colors of ABs that I might be able to include as well. There's another green AB which also goes in here over in the tree. And then we've got our last kind of mulberry colored AB here. And this one goes in the band of her hat right here. So very cool, some very cool ABs there. I always feel like getting these back in the, can in the bag is 
90% of my battle with unboxings. Okay, so just to recap, we've got our cute little Witch's Sunrise kit here, which is the 60 by 60 with the 75 colors. And then we've got our little Aquarius teacup, which is slightly smaller at 50 by 53. I will stick a link to Bella Art Diamond's website down below. They are not listed yet, so I can't link you to the individual kits, but go check out their website. I'm excited to see what other new things they've got. I don't know that I got to see every single thing that was available for a sneak peek, but they had some really cute ones of what I did see. So again, just a reminder, 34 new kits. They will be available March 2nd at 5 p.m. Mountain Time on the Bella Art Diamonds website. And they are doing the keyword giveaway. The giveaway will be during their live on Saturday, March 9th. They go live at 1.30 Mountain Time, 1.30 p.m. Mountain Time, so figure that out for your time zone. As far as I am aware, the drawing is open to everyone, including international. You just need to have watched sneak peek videos and gotten the keywords from everyone. So my keyword is teacup, since I'm going to be doing the lovely Aquarius teacup and I'm an Aquarius, so teacup is my keyword. So keep track of all those as you see all of the Bella Art Diamond sneak peeks. And then when they, I think, I don't know if it'll be on the second or maybe the next day, but once all the kits have gone live, it's my understanding that they will post the Google form where you can go and fill out all the keywords to be entered in the drawing. That will be held on the 9th. I'll stick all the details down below so you can check down there as well. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. A huge thank you to Bella Art Diamonds for letting me do the sneak peek for them. I think these kits are amazing. I've done a square from them. I know their square drills are really good, so I can't wait to see how these turn out. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.